Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called empagliflozin, commonly known by its brand name, Jardiance. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Empagliflozin, often recognized by its brand name Jardiance, is an oral tablet that falls under the category of SGLT-2 inhibitors. Its primary function is to assist the kidneys in managing blood sugar levels by increasing glucose excretion through urine. Initially approved by the FDA in 2014, it's primarily prescribed for type 2 diabetes in conjunction with diet and exercise. Additionally, it plays a role in treating heart failure and has shown efficacy in reducing heart-related complications. Empagliflozin is also used to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure in adults with type 2 diabetes who have known cardiovascular disease or multiple cardiovascular risk factors. Furthermore, it's prescribed to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death in adult patients with heart failure, especially when the heart struggles to pump blood efficiently. Warnings Empagliflozin comes with its set of precautions. It's not intended for those with type 1 diabetes, as there's a potential risk of diabetic ketoacidosis, which involves increased ketones in the blood or urine. Furthermore, it's not recommended for adults with type 2 diabetes who have moderate to severe kidney issues, as its effectiveness might be limited. Those with specific genetic forms of polycystic kidney disease or recent recipients of immunosuppressive treatments for kidney conditions should also exercise caution. Before taking this medicine, before starting empagliflozin, several factors need consideration. It's essential to inform your healthcare provider if you're allergic to the drug. Given its impact on the kidneys, those with kidney diseases or conditions should discuss potential risks and benefits with their doctor. If you're pregnant, planning a pregnancy, or breastfeeding, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. Regular monitoring of blood sugar levels is advised for those with diabetes or at risk of diabetes. You should not take empagliflozin if you are on dialysis or if you have severe kidney disease. It's also not recommended for those with certain genetic forms of polycystic kidney disease or for individuals who are taking or have recently received immunosuppressive therapy to treat kidney disease, as empagliflozin may not be effective in these cases. Before starting the medication, inform your doctor if you have ever had heart problems, liver problems, bladder cancer, pancreas problems, high levels of potassium in your blood, or if you are on a low sodium, salt, diet. It's also essential to let your healthcare provider know if you drink alcohol very often or if you have ever had diabetic ketoacidosis. If you are scheduled for surgery or certain x-ray procedures with injection of dye, inform your doctor as you might need to stop taking empagliflozin for a short time. Side Effects All medications can have side effects, and empagliflozin is no exception. Some individuals might experience dehydration symptoms like dizziness or fainting, especially upon standing. There's also a potential for genital yeast infections in both men and women. It's essential to be aware of these potential side effects and consult your doctor if you experience any unusual symptoms. Additionally, there's a risk of necrotizing fasciitis of the perineum, Fournier's gangrene, in patients with diabetes, a rare but serious and life-threatening bacterial infection of the tissue under the skin in the area between and around the anus and genitals. If you notice any signs of this infection, such as fever, pain or tenderness, swelling or redness of the skin in the genital and surrounding areas, seek medical attention immediately. Another potential side effect is the onset of diabetic ketoacidosis, a serious condition where the body produces high levels of blood acids called ketones. Symptoms can include nausea, tiredness, vomiting, trouble breathing, and abdominal pain. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to get medical help right away. Furthermore, empagliflozin may cause serious side effects including kidney problems, high blood sugar, hyperglycemia, low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, when combined with insulin or medicines that increase insulin levels, bacterial infections in the skin or under the skin, serious urinary tract infections, low blood pressure, high potassium levels in the blood, increased cholesterol, and bone fractures. It's also important to note that empagliflozin can lead to dehydration, especially if you don't drink enough fluids, if you vomit, or if you have diarrhea. Symptoms of dehydration include dry mouth, thirst, urinating less often, dark yellow urine, dry skin, and feeling dizzy or faint, especially when standing up. Always consult your doctor for medical advice about side effects and report any new or unusual symptoms. Interactions 
and pagliflozin might interact with other medications. It's of utmost importance to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking to avoid any adverse interactions. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of any medication. Always adhere to your doctor's recommendations when taking empagliflozin. Regular monitoring and periodic checkups can help ensure the drug's efficacy and safety. The recommended dose of empagliflozin for most adults with type 2 diabetes is 10 mg once daily, taken in the morning, with or without food. Depending on how you respond to the medication and based on your doctor's advice, this dose may be increased to 25 mg once daily. If you're being treated for heart failure, the recommended dose is 10 mg once daily. It's important to note that empagliflozin is not recommended for patients with severe renal impairment, end-stage renal disease, or for patients on dialysis, as its effectiveness might be limited in these cases. Always ensure you're taking the correct dose and never alter your dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Avoid. While on empagliflozin, it's advisable to stay hydrated to prevent dehydration. Given the potential for dizziness, it's wise to rise slowly from sitting or lying positions. As with many medications, it's recommended to avoid alcohol, as it can exacerbate certain side effects. FAQ Many wonder about the age restrictions for empagliflozin. Currently, its safety and effectiveness in individuals younger than 18 are not well established. It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing That wraps up our overview of empagliflozin. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.